If you're watching this video right now, <laughs> subscribe. I don't know what you're doing right now. Subscribe. 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 Do it. <laughs> I'm telling your mom. Tell my mom what? I'm telling their mom. Oh, <laughs> telling your mom. If you don't subscribe, I'm going to kick you in your bum. <laughs> Please subscribe. Subscribe. YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe. Hit that red button. No, Hit that red, 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 red button. You said what? You peed in your bed last night? Oh, oh, Mike's off. You're extra. Welcome back you're to so the juxtaposition. Extra, no, you're extra. <laughs> Episode twenty-four, I believe. Kobe. Kobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, Kobe. Yeah, uh, guys, I'm yep. so hungry right now. <laughs> so sad. Anyways, today I'm, is different. Today is kind of weird. It's weird in the juxtaposition studios. The it's vibes and moods is just a bit, you know, woo, woo, like it's Halloween. People are but just it's tired. Halloween. It's okay. not Halloween, you People know? People are just tired. This is business. That's we gotta, all. you know, you gotta come into work, business, leave your problems at the door. You dig what I'm saying, everybody? Yeah. Anyways, we're here. We're back. Episode 24. You know, we got some people in the building, in Juxtaposition Studios. <laughs> These guys are looking at me and laughing. <laughs> we got Mary in the cut. She's somewhere. Mary, where you at? Oh, she's here. Don't worry. The place is so big. I'd be like, whoa, Mary, Mary. And it echoes. Trust me, you think this is just the 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 ending, but this room is so big. It's like a storage. Are we doing like last time? Are you taking like three, three minutes, minutes no, at a time? No. Or? Take one okay. minute, one minute. Uh, is that all you have to say? Yeah, are you going to ask us about time. our week? Or no, so they don't them? like no, that. No, 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 no. I have, a, I have like a joke for you guys. What's your joke? joke? <laughs> My manager told me this joke. Oh, man. Are we going to laugh? or? I hope so. Is you laughing already? Hope I get it. What does what does a, a nut say to another nut that they're chasing? What does a nut who's chasing another nut say? You're nuts. Yo, you're acting. You're a nut so nut nut bob nut nut. I don't know. I'm a cashew. No. <laughs> um, I get it now. Sorry, that actually took me a minute oh, to get trash. it. Trash. It was a good one though. I wish I got it though. <laughs> No, you got no, it. I got no, it. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. I'm, no, you I'm didn't. No, you it. didn't. I'm not joking. Then, no, I, I don't know why you didn't laugh. I'm anyway. a cash. Ooh, that's so trash. <laughs> I, I, I promise you guys. I you, promise. Nana, no, I promise. Nana is, Nana is gonna use that line. I Ooh. promise. I know. Somehow, some way, it's he coming. Gonna it's that's gonna like come. a um, what you call hot che Cheetos. What do you call cheese? That's not yours. Not Nacho your cheese. cheese. Yeah, exactly. That's like that one. You can't say that's not funny. Joke. That's that was joke. funny. When my manager said that, I said that's a good one. I'm so you're dying? Like, no, she was though. <laughs> that's why you were laughing, because she was laughing. That's not a sick joke. Bro. Anyways, uh, let's I'm getting hot in here because it's getting hot. So but we're gonna start. As you know, we were talking about uh sexual sin, For pornography, and all that stuff. And you said, like, why don't we can't just talk about it and not help you? Those like who are struggling with it, closing yeah. it off. You know, those who are struggling with it, obviously you need help. You're wondering like, okay, so I, I'm doing it right now. How do I get out of it or ways to overcome it? So this episode is about how to overcome sexual um, sin, pornography, um, masturbation, you name it. Anything that is, not of, name it. that is not of God that has to be up. You can never, I, I mean, I had to, you know. Is it still there? You're good. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's that's a ride or die right there. Um, yeah, so we're going to start with that. I am I mean, you're probably wondering what I'm holding. For those who are listening, I'm going to tell you what it is. But this book is a book that was given to me by a wonderful lady named Goya. So we can call her a little mentor, a, a lady. But yeah, there's a, it's every young woman's battle. And then there's a, male, a men's version. Every young man looks like battle. Nana chewed his yeah, up probably I did and it. spit it out yeah. and combust, let the dog eat the combust, it, wet it, and dried it. The combust, whatever. It was at the, the bottom of the bag. Of the air was no, just decomposed. Definitely the, not. The it was that, anyway, you know those kids who had the, the, the books at the bottom of their bag? <laughs> That's, That's it. was That's him. definitely not me. Yeah. I got 80s who in school. Who had like school. pencils. At the, they didn't even have a pencil case. They I got 80s everything. in yeah. school. Whoops. Anyway, so yes, um, this book, honestly, if you guys are struggling with... Um, sexual addiction or any type of struggle with lustful thoughts this book, book has right. literally all the answers scriptures in there that shows you ways to help your your mind and so we're just going to break that down basically for you guys a quick i guess review on it yeah so we're going to start off with number one are we going to do guard your mind first or should we do guard your eyes no guard your mind 
I think guard your mind is important. Um, so the first one to From over, head to, yeah, head down. To toe. Yes, head down. So head ways down. to overcome. Yeah, ways to overcome yeah. sexual sin. The yeah. first one would be guard your mind. Um, so guarding your Ooh. mind. Obviously, you know our mind. Whatever comes in there, it has a lot yeah. of weight to it. So whatever you allow to come into your mind determines how you behave. And if you don't guard that, and you allow um, either negative thoughts or things that are not of God to come into your mind, it will affect you drastically. So for me, mm. I, the way I guard my mind um, is usually um, meditating on verses. For me, honestly, even today, I was at work and they're playing music and the songs, I, I could already feel, I could already sense myself already having lustful thoughts just like that, just by a, a snippet of a line. And I literally had to grab it <laughs> and capture that thought <laughs> and say, God, get, out get yeah, get out of here. <laughs> like, what is this? This is not the type of music I should be listening to. And I, I'm, I'm, I was thinking about it too. <laughs> As I was recalling in my university is like the first I can't say two years, 2015. Yeah, my first and second year. I would be playing R&B music every single hmm. day. I would be in the morning and during whatever break time. That's what happened to me yesterday. I was going through my like songs yesterday. The bottom when I first started Spotify. And this song came up. And then I, I took it in because I was watching basketball too. I was listening to music. And I took it in. I said, yo, whoa. And I skipped it. Yeah. I, skipped, I said, whoa, man. This is the song you used to I'm listen here. to before? Yeah, the song I listened to no, before. No, it was. Like, there's one like, song. All the words to the song. No, I knew. Like, there's this one song by Division, right? That's his name. Yeah. Division. I, think, I forgot what it's called. It's something like. Uh, um, what do you I, say? I want to go. The. The, uh, gosh, I can't remember. What was the lyrics? It's good that you can't remember, but deep. <laughs> oh, deeper. Deeper, like deep. That. It's called deep. And I was listening. They played the song today, and I was like, "Hey, he's not talking about <laughs> relation. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about going deeper in oh, terms of sexual hey. intimacy." And I he said, said wait, um, "Huh? That's not what I saw." And so <laughs> I remember, like, I I thought I always thought I never struggled with lustful thoughts. I actually genuinely I did. I, oh I just God. thought it wasn't a, does, I, yeah. I thought it wasn't really a thing yeah. but I did and so for me right now in ter- to capture that and not allow the lustful thoughts to take over I meditate on verses I every month have a verse for myself or try to remember something that I read over Bible study or something like that so that I don't allow those thoughts to come into my mind because it will go on into further things and that's not what we want to happen mm. so that's one one of my ways to guarding my mind but I think for me, guarding your mind and eyes kind of work hand in hand a little bit. But what I what I can say with the mind, I think it's just as soon as the thought comes, it's trying to like uh like take it out. But there's sometimes where you're fighting, it's like whoa, 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 like you're thinking about like some in the past. And yeah. Then, it, it it's like wrestling with the flesh. You're wrestling with the flesh. But um Sometimes I listen to podcasts, Christian podcasts, to kind of get some positive messages in my brain, mm-hmm. and in my mind, and um, especially podcasts or episodes that are on sexual sin and stuff like that. Um, so I can, instead of just listening to, I listen to Breakfast Club a lot, I'm sorry. I listen yeah. to Breakfast Club a lot, you know, instead of listening to super like secular things, like listening to <laughs> someone's podcast that are talking about Christ, you know? And, but I think it's very important not to always flood your mind with um, the podcast or something that's distracting your brain. Yeah. You know, because you have to get to a point where you're, you're f- like, kind of like good with your thoughts or silent. Yes. Like it's yeah. good. It's good for silence. Because yeah. every time if you always go to the music or if you go, always go to the um, podcast, if you always go to the YouTube video, it's like you're not allowing God to for you to be creative in a way mm-hmm. you know you're blocking your creative genes or your juices so just have a balance i guess so that's what i can say um i would say music would be my thing mm-hmm. but like i have it's either i go back to a specific song that keeps going back in my mind yeah. if i like there's always like a keyword that See where it's like, well, and like previously I did like the Hallelujah Challenge with like Nathaniel Bassey and like he would play like a certain song or certain few songs and Mm -hmm. I would go back to those few songs that would like always be in my head. Like if I had one of those thoughts or even if I like it would cross my mind, I'd 
go back to that song. It's like having a reservoir of like songs that you could choose from that will remind you to get out of that mm -hmm. and like or like a specific lyrics that will continue to um yeah remind you so like singing it all the time i always have i always sing songs in my head yeah. constantly yeah. so that's me never get out of my Same. head Same. and it's and, and this used to be before like i don't know if it used to be like secular songs before to be really honest mm -hmm. but like i always had like a christian like or like uplifting music in my head mm -hmm. that would be replayed yeah uh, that's nigerian that's songs too like yeah pra nigerian praise or hymns or something like that <clears throat> that's the same so. thing with me like songs definitely help a whole lot like once you have my this, mom's always singing in my house yeah so once I you have this um <laughs> once the thoughts come into your mind and you kind of say like jesus i know this is not this is not like you and you don't want me to think like this so a song think of a song that's uplifting or just reminds you of who jesus says you are what's your song my song Okay. But what's a song that you? What's a song that, that I sing? always that it's always a reoccurring thing in your head. <sighs> God, I look to you. Yeah, that's a. I will be That's a good one too. What's another one? Oh, there's so many songs. It could be um, uh, "Great Is Your Faithfulness," um, "Promised" by uh, Maverick City Listen, Music. One thing about the gospel <clears throat> music for me. I, I never think about sexual thoughts. Oh, never. You can't. Music. You can't. It's impossible. It's so, if it does, then like that means like it's not a blinder. Right. A, a block. block. Yeah. Like, boom. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Nana, yeah. don't even. Like, yeah. don't even think about it, enemy. <laughs> yeah. As soon as it comes yeah. out, I, I can't remember where I was like, it's like you're either singing to it or grooving to it. Yeah. You're actually taking in the lyrics. Yeah. So I don't remember so like ever like thinking about sexual thoughts oh, while so, oh. listening to music. Sorry, another gospel. song that I, um, is To Worship You, I Live by Israel um, Holton and, and, the and then um, You Sustain by Transformation Church. Oh, yes. That song. They didn't even put it on. No, it's, uh, for me, I like, just go back. <laughs> yeah, just go back. Go to YouTube. And but it's, it. No, but it, it's that song. It's enough for you to be like, okay, I can, I got this. Like, he he's going to sustain me through mm. these moments of me going through this porn addiction or masturbating. Or like, even if you're going, just, just to say, even if you're actually doing the deed and all of a sudden you feel some type of conviction, you, you can stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, you don't yeah, have to some keep. Some people think that. I'm in it. I'm doing it already. You might as well I feel finish bad. Yeah. So I might as well just, But no, if you feel some type of conviction <laughs> at the moment, like I don't, I shouldn't be doing this. Just stop. You know what I mean? That's important. And I just, sorry, I just read this in the book and this is probably a different, no, well, it's not different, but guarding your mind. <clears throat> and it said like, instead of entertaining those sexual thoughts or whatever the case may be, um, for example, if you're lustful, instead of just entertaining it, pray for that, um, opposite sex or whatever your partner that your future partner so if I'm thinking about some guy in my mind and it's lustful why don't I just pray for my future husband instead of letting letting that um, drive like yeah because they too my yeah. future husband could potentially be having Struggling the same yeah the well. same thing so mm -hmm. if that actually happens to you this is an example just do that pray and, and see what God can do in the miraculous worship yeah, is worship. your weapon yeah mm -hmm. learn about that and prayer is definitely your weapon just start be like god no no yeah no god don't don't no satan yeah. just go yeah. no I, people will be like it's funny that you speak to yourself but no that is actually like what you need to do yeah because like we mm -hmm. talk to ourselves but like talk to yourselves when and talk to god during yeah. prayer yeah. when that comes through oh my gosh no i'm not doing this today yeah no Jesus said that I am the salt of the earth. Like, yeah. you have to repeat those yeah. phrases. Like, and putting those phrases in your focus, head, focus right? Focus on good things, right? And set your eyes mm -hmm. above so that you can keep focused. What is good, what is right, what is, what is right, just. Yeah, like, I forgot the verse, but... But it's yes. important also to, when you're guarding your mind, not just to obviously switch gears, but maybe take a break from certain things that trigger yourself. Yeah, you know, know your right? triggers. Know right? your triggers. Those those are so important. Like if you know a certain song or a certain it's genre gonna get of song is gonna get you riled up, nineties don't put R &B. that on your playlist. Get rid of it. You know what I mean? Don't entertain it. As they said, if something like a person that you usually work with, maybe you can't really talk to them. Maybe you have to. You can't go out with them no more. Yeah, yeah maybe you have to separate in, and separate. Can I work from at a them? different yeah. shift? Can I change exactly. my shift? Change People would be like, "Oh, that's too much." Like, why would you want to change? But would like, you rather, no. would you rather suffer or would you rather have Knowing, peace? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Your peace at all exactly. Costs. Doing so, it. Gotta be um, militant purposely. with certain. A, little, a lot of stuff. People would be like you do that like why it's mm -hmm. like no i'm trying to protect. i know myself self-reflection like, is like the hardest yes. for a yes. lot of yes. people and yeah. like 
I was talking to one of like a younger girl that I'm talking to and she's like, yeah, like a lot of people don't know self-reflection. Yeah. Like they, they don't know when they're wrong. They don't know when yeah. like to just be like, no, I'm in the wrong mm-hmm. or just, admit, you know, yeah. admit like or take that, responsibility take, for their actions, yeah. which just she was just talking about like, wow, like even though she's young, but she's still she's good at that. She's realizing that now, which is realizing it early is mm-hmm. so good because mm-hmm. like when you grow up, you're going to need that a lot yeah. as we're pursuing that now yeah. in our age as well. Yeah. So. so we can move on into guarding your eyes because the mind and the eyes are two in one because mm-hmm. I, I feel like the mind has to do with what you hear and sorry pastor darius if you don't watch pastor darius you should go watch pastor darius he said this thing and it, it's it resonates with me so much i i literally say it all the time to myself whoever has your he- ear has your life whoever has your ear has your life that is so important because whatever you're feeding mm-hmm. on or allowing to come in determines Sticks. what what is going on in your mind determines yeah. your behavior right so if if you notice that oh my gosh like I, I have this um i don't know maybe it's like you're around people who have this negative attitude or something then you're like gonna that. Co- and then you all of a sudden you see way, like yeah. yeah like there's something wrong like you're always having this vibe of you're either you're angry or you're negative you have to look around your circle and be like who who am i listening to what you're, am i listening to you're a product right. of your environment yeah. whatever environment you put yourself in you're gonna become that yeah right. so and it's so very important. yeah for those who are whoever has your ear has your life so go look ab- at your circle and yeah. look around the things that you're listening to whatever it is that has to do with listening check that out and reset. or even just people who are like focused on negativity and Mm -hmm. just like they just you know they stick in it they stay in it like it's like no you gotta check because then after it feeds off on you because you start just being negative about everything Mm -hmm. it's just like no you need those positive people to uplift you i could be that person of course negative nancy as they call me but i don't want to call you that sometimes they're like oh my gosh she's so negative but you have to catch yourself though it it happens yeah everybody has those moments where you're negative but you have to obviously catch yourself but as i was saying i think for um guarding your eyes Mm -hmm. i think for me is i like to make defensive schemes like we say in basketball so right now i'm watching moesha i'm just gonna that's uh, because you know why i'm watching moesha because there's no it's the night it's the 90s <laughs> there's no it's like not a lot sex of stuff. scenes and yeah. stuff like that because once again i know my triggers mm-hmm. like i know well, I, was, I was telling her i was on netflix and i was like nowadays you don't even know what is restricted and what is they mature. say tvma and I'm what like, is what? that and then you 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 will be four episodes in into something fifth episode boom biggest sex you're team. like i say Whoa. wait the, the, the plot and the, the, the storyline was so good and, and then it just you ruined, ruined it. it. Just like, like we were I'll talking be, about power like, last yeah. week. Exactly. Right? I was like two seasons in into a, a, um, a show. And I just thought, I said, I'm, I don't want, I'm not watching this anymore. <laughs> like sometimes we think that we're in too deep. Like we can't, yeah. we can't stop. But I'm like, nope. I am done because I have to make my defensive scheme so militant because you don't want to be a person where you think I'm good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ten years, ten years later, I'm good. Mm-hmm. I was reading upon um Uriah, right? Um, and he was once a king, and he he thought he was so like good, or he thought he can't he couldn't fall or anything mm-hmm. like that, and then he end up falling. Mm-hmm. You know, if if you were if you were to ask him, he would probably be like, "Yo, like I would never fall. Like, do yeah. you know who I am?" Yeah, but as as people sometimes when um when we grow in life, our character doesn't grow as well. Mm-hmm. It doesn't follow. So with me, it's like, yeah, right now I think I'm good, but no, I have to have the same defensive schemes I had a mm-hmm. year ago when I was trying to get rid of it. To till this day, and you probably even right. have to add even more at this point because yeah. I think you get comfortable yeah. like okay, I know yeah. like, okay, this yeah. and this, but then yeah. eventually the enemy finds ways to seep in and be like, okay, maybe enemy's I'm, waiting. Since I'm good drags here, you back yeah, down since, to like, where you started. Here and I know, yeah, I'm not really you know waiting. it doesn't have an effect as on me. Much, yeah. I can still watch it, but no, the case is no. no. And I think no. <laughs> is it uh, your eyes are the window to the soul, to your soul? Yeah, yeah, like just the same thing as your mind. What you see, it's like. It's a it's a reflect like literally I can close my eyes right now and I can remember all the things I shouldn't have watched. Yeah. And I haven't even watched in a long time. <laughs> I'm you remember a, the bad stuff more than the good. I'm telling you, like I literally can remember maybe a TV show and then I you know how you skip like 
I mean, we shouldn't yeah. be watching shows. You skip, and then you see something. You and, see a little bit yeah, of it. And yeah, and, and ever, ever since I've done that, that's the only part, that's the only part that see. sticks with my mind. That's so crazy. I, I, it's, it's is, insane. This, so it's like, world is I can't, I can't, I can't allow myself to, <laughs> to slip like yeah. that. Yeah. And, and it says not even, in the Bible, it says not even a hint, a smidget, a small, so that means even me, see, now I'm even, I'm even preaching to myself at this point. You not always me. get convicted of your actions. Conviction not even a hint so. of sexual what you say immorality. What about that? What about that? Ephesians. I believe it's Ephesians. Oh my God. It's okay. You don't have to quote her, but you're going to find it. Oh my God. But not even a hint. So that's convicting oh me right man. now, telling me that I need to shut oh that down. Man. I can't allow to, Small I can't, I can't. Down. That's what, you can't, you can't. Because you know, the enemy knows like the smallest thing, a little step. He, they even said in the Bible, don't give the, the enemy a, uh, a foothold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A foothold is just a little, you know, <laughs> Yo, like, it's not I'm, even I'm, a lot. It's not a lot, like, but it's, it, it, give, it gives enough space for the enemy to slide in and start ruining your life. Sorry, I'm watching a show it's called Snowfall right now. And I, on the timeline of Twitter, I see a lot of Christians watching it. And I'm watching it too because I can't be hypocrite. <laughs> but I'm looking at them like, yo, g- guys, you know we're Christians. I know there's sex scenes. Oh, for sure. It's hitting us. Oh, Why yeah. are we promoting this? But that's how the but enemy works. Like, now you say that. Like, I'm oh, telling oh you. God, that's how the enemy it's, works. The show is so it's, good. It's so good, but it's like oh, you're allowing, you're, you're giving the enemy a little smidgen of, of like, okay, you know what? It's okay. Even if I skip, I can still see a yeah. part. It's literally like you can't watch anything anymore. Well, that's. But honestly, I think that's okay. You know why? Yeah. No, I know. But I'm saying like a lot of things you yeah. just can't even watch yeah. anymore because like you can't even enjoy the simplistic yeah. storyline of something yeah. without it hitting you with something. But definitely for me, I would say yes. I'm a visual learner, so whatever I see, I remember. Yeah. Like I'm more reading and stuff like that. Okay, but visual. If I see something, I can remember faces so vividly than names. Mm-hmm. So that shows you how much like seeing things. It stays ingrained in your yeah. mind for a lot of people, and I would say for me, I mean, like, uh, I don't, I don't watch that much television, but I do watch shows that yes, that I just, I should just be giving up. But okay. slowly, it yeah. takes the time to draw those. I'm a growing man. Back, but I was gonna sure. say also, it doesn't growing. even have to be sex scenes. It could just be a fantasy, just enough for you to begin to think like, okay, a fantasy is lustful thoughts too. Do you understand? Yeah. Like they could create this picture of like this is how relationships are supposed should to look be. like a facade. Yeah, like it's a facade, and so you begin to dwell on those things, and so how you go about your relationships. That means you shouldn't be watching anything then. That's why. Shouldn't but that's, shouldn't that's, we? You should. You should there's filter. Some shows you where should it's filter. Like, oh yeah, the person's in no, a relationship. No, but you should filter because especially like, if you don't know, you should filter. Especially especially if you don't know between what's a healthy relationship and what's not okay, a healthy relationship. Okay. But if you do know, obviously you have enough wisdom to be like, okay, obviously I know this is not. A real relationship. People get caught up. Mm-hmm. Sorry, <laughs> um, I I showed you uh, Sweetie and Quavo, whatever the <laughs> situation, make whatever the Every case. Every week, is. someone they just said that. they 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 broke up or whatever it is. And I seen on Snapchat somebody said one fan said like, oh, if they broke up, then there's no there's no real love. Love or doesn't exist. Love doesn't <laughs> That's exist. what they said with J Lo and A Rod too. Guys, Damn. see what I mean? They're human beings. It's like they yes, it's not. It's a struggles. it's a fantasy. So a lot of people are playing yeah. on like because they look beautiful together and they because they have this it's just whole like, like J- life uh, Beyonce together. and Jay Z. Yeah, them like, looking perfect together. It's not the case. Relationships mm-hmm. take work. Okay. Yeah. And so he might be. You don't know what they're struggling with, but anyways, that's a side note. But yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was uh yeah. But for me personally, I I take. I think we all have done it. Media breaks. Yeah. yeah. We take we take ourselves out of the. That's media. a good one. Like, that's, trust yeah. me. Use it. It. And then when important. you go back, it's not the same. It's you don't even go on it. on yeah. social media like that yeah. anymore, or you yeah. don't feel the need yeah. to like the urge because like. Your phone is an urge to pick it up. Yeah. To pick it up to look at. Like your eyes want, if there's a flicker, if there's a notification, if there's some, yes, turn off your notifications yeah. during that time. Turn off your sound. Mm-hmm. Like maybe it's only a few things. Maybe like a text only comes yeah. in. Like turn that on. But if it's Instagram and you're trying to actually get off it, maybe you have to delete it. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. sometimes like even just having it on your phone and not going on it, you are tempted to look at it. Because once again, your eyes see that yeah. color. Like it's just your brain is wired yeah. already to see that sign of Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and they get you. That's what those people are there to do. Yeah. <laughs> They're there to want you to click on it again and scroll for hours. And like imagine it's a visual. All of these things are visual things yeah and that's like how visual works. stimulation yeah. you know yeah. so for me that was the biggest chunk of my downfall mm. in terms of sexual sin the instagram mm-hmm. you know 
thinking and about the, it. And what's it called? The that page, oh, the, the feed, Explorer, Explorer page. page. Oh, page. Oh, That's man. the one that. <laughs> but, no, but that has to do with um what you like, what you, like, what you send, and what you yeah. Uh, trust me. Yeah. No. No, but not sometimes um, not even majority of the time majority, because no, some things I don't even it. like and I that's on my Explorer page. No, but page. a big chunk of it. It has to do with okay. yeah. And it's like before, like I had an Instagram. I didn't even think about like yeah. sexual stuff like that. Yeah. You know? But I can't blame. I mean, it's, it's what... It's, you can control what no, but you that's see. What I said, so that now you I have, control... You know your triggers. Yes. So you now know, I control okay, what I see. That's I'm different. Not, but not if you don't know your triggers, you need to identify and, and those things. Before I thought, yeah, I can I can see anything and no, nothing will affect no. me. But it's a lie. Don't let that... It. Don't don't lie to yourself. Yeah. Don't let that be a, a downfall for you. I was also going to say, for those who are struggling with sexual sin, um, especially when it comes to pornography... I think now that you mentioned it, how like, you had a friend that, uh, um, what's that thing called? The I think protection? It, yeah, what the is it called? Pro- yeah. Screen protection? protection. It's like it a lock. Par- parental, something screen like that. Screen lock or something yeah. like that. It has a name, but she yeah. doesn't know the name right um, now. There's, there's different, w- different forms Yeah, there's it. different forms. But that, I think that's, that's important that's to really have good. as well. Yeah. Especially if you're struggling with pornography yeah. and going on websites. And find somebody that can keep you accountable in that area. And, yeah. and and make sure that they, they have that because yeah. it's hard. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, it falls into like, sorry, it falls into having an accountability group. Yeah. One or two people you could talk to, um, one or two people that you trust, you know. And who are actually intentionally like, yeah. and people following that through. have been through it. Yeah. Or and, oh, even if they don't, they just have the wisdom. Yes. To, yeah. They have the knowledge yes. of the, the word and they know yeah. the word. Because and they're doing their work in them exactly. as they're helping you. Yeah, yes. You can't have someone that doesn't, that's coming from no, nowhere. So. Yeah. You don't want to come from an empty vessel who's pouring mm-hmm. into somebody who's also empty. Doesn't it? That's just air. Yeah. And we don't need mm-hmm. air. Oh my gosh. Dang. Sorry, you just had a revelation. But yeah. But me me, me, me and my, my friend Ty, sorry, I'm not trying to put Ty on black. <laughs> well, he is now. <laughs> me, and my friend Ty, me and my friend Ty were, he was the one that was helping me. So he was putting the things on my phone and stuff like I'm that. I'm telling you. And then I kind of surpassed him. <laughs> hey. Sorry, Ty. Yeah, you you're running uh, your own race. Everybody has their own race. Everyone has their own race. So Everyone has their own, your own race. But, but people are still, you know, going, did I just snitch? Wow, yeah, you did. Snitch. You did. Oh, Sorry, right. Ty. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm all> right. <laughs> I know he feels guilty right now. going to watch this episode and be like, oh my God. Gosh, he <laughs> out me. You don't watch. Okay, well, let's move on to. So we talked about guard your mind, <laughs> guard your eyes, no. and now we're talking about guard your heart. No. Yes. yes. Oh, sorry. We have four, right? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. we have four. Oh, sorry. Yeah, guard your heart. Sorry. Okay, guard your heart. So, what does that mean to guard your heart? Lock it down. Icebox. I mean, my heart used to be. I used this icebox oof, where okay. my heart used to be. This is like be. 10 episodes. No, I'm so cold. I'm, I'm so cold. 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 Are you finished? Yeah, now I am. Okay, but so bring it, okay, babe, soft off, turn it, me. enemy. That's see, so you see the enemy? It's coming. No, but that was just a good segue. Make your heart an ice box where they have to hammer it to yeah, to reach it, to reach it. Except that it's still breathing. Like you know, yes. imagine just like it's, it's, it's not dead, dead but, but yeah, it, it's protected yeah. by like an ice block where you know yeah. you gotta. Yeah, I well for me for me protecting the heart was not to enter into relationships you know that the person is gonna cause you to sin. Yeah, especially right. sexual. Yeah, you know, yeah. but I was a person that was doing that. To, uh, that was mm. w- that was pursuing people. Right, I was the initiator. <laughs> Can you imagine? I was the initiator hmm. from 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 two thousand. When did this stop? Maybe two thousand nineteen. <laughs> I was the initiator. I was the I was the one in the Bible. People were saying that flee from sexual sin. Even right, I sin. was the one. You, I was the I, one. You had a sin. <laughs> but now you are the common denominator. Now that I have been you transformed. Are. Now I've been transformed. Hallelujah. Is that no? Don't <laughs> don't. I'm not playing with you. Go play with a basketball. Don't play with me. I'm not playing with you because I am trying to protect my heart because I know what I'm capable of. Yeah. You know, I know what I'm capable. of. We all know what we're capable of capable of you know so i try my best i try really hard to not you know to you know what people like don't even <laughs> entertain yeah. like come on you know i know so let's just end it <laughs> but they there. just they need the comfort right that's what's yeah companionship. It for companionship you can be friends with someone good friends to lay, you don't have to be to lay down all their 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 junk or their drama or whatever they want mm-hmm. to this they need a listening ear and then someone to just be around yeah. not necessarily they need to want want to be in that relationship but they just you know they yeah, need a I comfort think, or someone I think around guarding your heart is it's so, so important like 
you don't want to be cold. <laughs> like You don't want to reject yeah. everybody. But I think in terms of understanding what it means to guard your heart, you need to understand um, the importance of your heart. And that's the source. Like, that's where life begins. Like, if you don't have a heartbeat, you ain't breathing. And then when it comes to the word of God, like, everything he says in the word attacks your heart. It doesn't attack anything else but your heart. Yeah. And so that's how you know it's so important because mm-hmm. God is always attacking the heart. And if you're allowing relationships to come in and you're allowing um loneliness to come in and negative thoughts and all this stuff to come into your heart into your i guess your peace. temple yes yeah. people know how you feel they can manipulate you and and use that against trample you. all over yeah so that. you need to be able to understand what should be given out and what shouldn't be given out and so once again that's how i i do it i just don't let everybody know how i feel and i i work my emotions in my mind I allow that to kind of like maybe take a day or two to figure out what I really feel like and then go back and talk to this person or deal with the situation. But mm. yeah, that's one of my ways to do that. Anything else for you guys? Nah, I, I would say oh, cool. I would say same. Um, I process it, but like I just I've not such of a. I would say, like, if I if I were to be in a relationship, like, or entertain that, like, I'm not, to a guy, I wouldn't be so much, like, lay everything out. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe to one of your friends, of course, you can do that. Like, you know, as you trust them, you go along and, and let your heart out. But, like, yeah, definitely a lot similar to you, just thinking about it in your head first and, and seeing, like... Is that the right thing to say? Is that really how I feel? Because your feelings, le- leading by f- emotion, oh my God. Mm-hmm. Oh, it is horrible. So don't do that because your emotions, of course, you know, one day you could be sad, one day you can yeah. be mad. If you lead with all those things, you, you'll you say it that one day and then you'll change your mind the next day or mm-hmm. something like that. So don't say it's horrible. I mean, like... What? No, it is. I've, I've, I've witnessed. I mean, you just have to have... You but have you have a balance. Human. You yeah, have to have a you're balance. You're human, but sometimes... You, like, if you lead by just some people your emotion, are some people are no, if you lead by your emotion and then decide, like, by, with your emotion, with your emotion, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Like, yeah. decide with your emotion, mm-hmm. and then the next, like, it's something else. I'm saying that it's ever changing. So, give it, like, if you still feel the same way a few days later, yeah, then that makes some sense. Wisdom before you, know? you actually make a decision. Exactly. And so, mm-hmm. yeah, I think for guarding your heart, too, just understanding the love of God first and understanding that, and then keep that integrity of what his love is about. Once you understand the love that God has given you, then it, it becomes easier to go about life. It's the same thing as guarding your mind and your heart. I mean, and your eyes and your heart. Everything goes back to the source and understanding the whole idea of what God created us to be. So, um, yeah, that's, I think, for that. Um, and the last thing is guard your body. Well, you know. like, what do you mean guard your body? Don't, just don't let nobody touch you until you're married. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, don't if you let have... Don't nobody touch you like that and to don't, get you into, yeah, like, you like, know... And, and I was going to say... Yes. To, exactly. No, I'm, <laughs> no for real, though. Thing. If you have... If you have... Um, had sex before that's okay you can still take back your like you could still take that back your period they don't mm-hmm. have it they don't hold it you know what you, you hold. can hold yeah you can hold that purity god has redeemed us god has given us another chance he has um given us grace so that means you can start all over again listen mm-hmm. if you it's not too far if you're gone. not a virgin you tell them i'm celibate i'm waiting till i'm married yes okay I'm a newly just virgin. stop there just be like that's i'm a, yeah, I'm a new i'm a new creation so yeah. that the old means dead okay done. bye i'm a new this is new me this is new bernie or I don't new even whatever remember. it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't remember. I mean, it's good to remember. You don't always want to forget. So you don't you fall, fall back. Exactly. Yes, but of course. Oh, like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, guard your body. Just make sure. Oh, Siri is listening to me. Can you see the government? The government. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but yeah, guard your body in terms of. I didn't get that. Can, can you see? You we don't want you to get it. <laughs> Sorry. Bye, Siri. Okay. Nice talking with you. Okay, Siri. Yes, he's telling us to wrap up. That's what he's just trying to tell us. But yeah, guard your body. Make sure that you protect yourself because obviously there are diseases out there. Let's not just play games, okay? There's sexual, sexually transmitted diseases and you don't want that. Um, obviously, you want to be careful 
and how you're touched that's protect the, yourself. a main thing yeah, like love you you think you that yeah. people can just know like you just have to be very respectful and just yeah you know, like just know just your boundaries your, yeah your know power. You love can. yourself first and understand who you are and have self love mm-hmm. and from there also respect other people's bodies too not just right. your own you need to understand how to respect other people's bodies and then we can move forward but obviously this is not everything we can go on to snip it but like this is some of the things that we do to help and Keep obviously your hands to yourself. yeah i i, I <laughs> like personally have, i have boundaries kindergarten thing. i i i have boundaries with certain like yeah. unless you're like my sibling or something exactly but, yeah but the opposite sex, we ain't we ain't we ain't hugging for day, for hours, okay? Mm-hmm. We ain't giving low uh, uh bear hugs. You know that's gonna, r- yeah, yeah, bear hugs. bear hugs. We can't do that. You know you are gonna get riled Unless up. Unless you're my man, that's different. Okay. But bear hugs, you can't do People that. People think they can't get yes, riled up. You exactly. want that? You know, so no. don't do it to yourself. So keep your di- keep the boundaries. So that's keep your yeah. Just know social. the boundaries and, and <laughs> social distance at this point. So, yeah, you should social. you shouldn't be touching nobody. <laughs> 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 but anyways, I think that's all for um today. I hope you guys were able to take away something from this mm-hmm. uh overcoming sexual sin. Um if you need any more tips, we're here to give it to you. Comment um, down below yeah. what you thought about the little series that we did yeah. and what you thought about this episode and other ways that you um, you know, overcome sin and and ideas that you can give us, give other people in the comments as well. Like button, please. Please. Oh, yes. Like is please. so important. So important. Thumbs up. Okay. So, so important. It gives us, um, it puts us out there so people Into can see the us. Yeah. So yeah. if it helped you in that. any type of way, please like it, share it. And, and also comment. subscribe. And subscribe. Yes. Hit that red button. Please. Mm. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we are out. We will see you guys next week. As I said, better than ever. Back. Back. Sorry? Back. Back well, that's ever. what they mean. Uh, We're gonna that's be back and better than ever. Oh, that's all, folks. Until next time, we are the Jackson. You really shined off. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>If you're watching this video right now, <laughs> subscribe. I don't know what you're doing right now. Subscribe. 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 Do it. <laughs> I'm telling your mom. <laughs> Tell my mom what? I'm telling their mom. Oh, <laughs> telling your mom. If you don't subscribe, I'm going to kick you in your bum. <laughs> Please subscribe. Subscribe. YouTube. <laughs> subscribe. Hit that red button. Hit that red button.